Hello everyone, I am Neoxenok, and this is my let's play of Shadowrun! So, we are going to go, uh, we are Shadowrunning to get the heart that we need for Stark. Who will be our next permanent party member. And will likely replace Winston Mars. Well, likely, definitely. He will definitely replace Winston Mars. And we'll make money doing it. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. Three drain. How ridiculous. Okay. Quite a bit of karma now. All right, yeah, we're going into Fuchi to do this. So, let's go! You enter the Fuchi just prior to their closing. The receptionist seems to have left early today. You smile at your good fortune and slip into the office area. Now to find that cyber heart. Uh, four stim badges. Stop acting weird. I forget. Who had the biggest biotech? Winston does. Okay. Yeah, he's our medical guy. He likes to shoot people, but he can also patch them up if he likes them. I guess it's something. Or stim patches. It's too bad you can't combine items into a bigger hole. Oops. Uh, I think stim patches are the ones for the, uh, for your mental, which makes them very valuable. take advantage of those and do a bork skin uh, not too bad that's fine I can deal with that Security guard spots you. Show me some ID, pal. Since you don't have a badge, you'll have to come up with something else. I'll try to talk my way out. You managed to convince him you misplaced it. He seems satisfied and moves on. I'm guessing that. Oh, nope. Ah, darn it. Ow. Ow. Oh. Again. 
So has this been burning me? It has no drain, so how did I... Oh, it must be something else. Doesn't matter. you. Alright, perfect. Absolutely perfect. How are we doing on clips? Fantastic. See if we can break in here. It accepted. Active alert. Injected. 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 Uh, no, it's a bit too tough for me. deck is quite good enough to deal with that now. Maybe at least not on high alert. Oh, they already see me. It's possible for the cops to shoot themselves. <sighs> Grenades. Hi, right, guys. Shut down the cameras. Ah, yes, the most brutal gift of all. Nothing! Perfect. Thought there was one of these around here. Oh, she needs to be healed again. nothing. You jam through the system, shutting down the alarm system and the security cameras. You also find files that, su that suggest you should search the third floor. Uh, you look down and notice you're about to step on a concealed security plate. You quickly jump over the plate, avoiding an alert. Uh, 
I could search the second floor if only to, you know what, I'll just go to the third. I can loot the place after I find the, the heart. I can't believe this whole place is unlocked. Yay, scatter grenades! Notice the security pin. Nope, walk away from that. I already got all I need. Nothing. Inside the safe, you find the prototype cyber heart. You hope Stark can hang on long enough to use it. And now, for the looting. Fifty big ones. And... Two trauma patches. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not real good at that stuff. Of course, the world of Shadowrun is exceedingly dangerous. I wonder how common it is for buildings to be empty like this, or... Because, I mean, a lot of people died between the time that the world started to change like this. Uh, so me some ID, pal. Uh, lame story didn't work. Cool. Five clips. I just collected some. Oh, apparently, I didn't. filled with meeting rooms and chairs. So yeah, the history of uh, how the world of Shadowrun came to be is a long and storied one. Very interesting. It's a great setting.
managed to convince him that you misplace it. He seems satisfied and moves on. Fantastic. That must have been this guy. Why is he sitting up there in the corner? Uh, let's see, you go into buildings like this to steal things, usually guns, equipment, and stuff you can, physical things you can pick up and sell at a store. The Matrix, you uh, steal information. Um, and other than the escort missions, uh, it's usually just an assassination mission of some kind or another. What Shadowrun did I even hire these guys for anyway? So it's like I come in here to steal office supplies, apparently. I actually have the Shadowrun Returns line of uh, games from Steam as well. I'll probably let's play those at some point in time. I was just... I wonder how it compares to this. The scientist walks by, deep in thought. Oh, uh, walk away. You leave him behind. Come on. Oh, come on, I need things. I need things more than ever. Company man walks up and flicks a toothpick at you. Walk away, he saunters away. Alright, I think it's time to go before I set off another alarm. Security mage spots you. ID, please. Since you don't have a badge, you don't, uh, you'll have to come up with something else. Try a lame. Oh no, he's a mage too. So, wait, stim, stim, sure, actually I can, dough, not fine, I'll just finish that off. Good enough for me. company mage. I suppose I could speed this up by going to that uh, double computer terminal that's over here. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. You can do better than that. Come on. Oh, okay. Alright. There's more guys up here anyway. Where are you going? out of here. Disturbance up ahead. There's some 
quickly takes a hollow picture and disappears into the crowd. Bump, 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 bump. Honestly, that was a bit easier than I thought it would be. Crowd's part is you are approached by a Lone Star Patrol. Moment, citizen. Uh, we want a word with you. Talk to them. Keeping your cool, you answer all of their questions convincingly. Finally, Lone Star continues on its way. So you walk by, a man calls to you from a dark alley. Psst, got six frag grenades on sale. We'll give them to you for 180 a pop. That's 30 a pop. What do you say, chummer? Attack! A Lone Star Patrol jumps from the alley. You figure it must have been an undercover operation. Assault on an officer! You're coming with us! Attack! Lone Star forces draw their weapons with well-trained efficiency. That'll learn ya! We have things to sell. We should get a not unfair amount of money for all of it too. I like how they just buy illegal things. They don't care. Uh, four uses, four uses. Bad of amount of money, I guess. I guess. All right. All right. Let's go save Stark. Now that we've made bank, we'll save Stark. You have the heart! You are amazing, Joshua! She rains kisses all over your cheeks and lips, and then quickly composes herself, uh, taking the package. I'll get him to an OR right, right away. You return much later to check on Stark. Joshua! The heart works just whiz. Uh, future slang. Too good, in fact. Uh, Stark was in recovery scant hours before he just got up uh, and walked right out of the here like he was one of, on one of those trivid stars. Said he had too much to do to lay around in a hospital. He did say, though, that if you needed to find him, that he would eventually uh, he would eventually be at the Underground 93 at the Polyp Barrens. Thank you. As you wish. Be careful out there. Cops have been asking me a lot of questions lately. Is this anything? No, of course not. Maybe it was intended to be something at some point in time, but... No. Anyway, I guess we'll do the run I was supposed to do anyway. Um, community of ghouls somewhere in downtown Seattle. They have been preying on the citizens. Oh, cool. Okay. 
so just find a place where there are ghouls and shoot them until they stop moving. Enter an abandoned building. Ghouls tend to gather here, packs of them waiting for some fresh meat. Entering the foul place, you smell the stench of rotted flesh and hear the sound of movement. Where are you guys going? Come on. You know, I saw a demo for a NES-style Resident Evil 1 game. And, um, there wasn't a whole lot of work done on it, but I wonder if it would... But scenes like this in Shadowrun make me wonder just how well it would... Or rather, if it would work better if they kind of took this part of this game and expanded it to be a Resident Evil-style game. Shoot him, aren't you? Oh no 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 no! Oh yeah, those are the scariest monsters in this game. They just do so much damage. Yeah. Wendigos! Yeah, they... those aren't that tough. I'll see if things go with the fire spell. It's much more damaging, but I have less success. Actually, I'll just go with the electricity spell. I'm much better with it. Fire spell won't be as useful, I guess, until I have more. Been here for a while, and surprisingly few zombie, ghoul things, whatever. I've seen literally everything else. Fine, you guys. You would have better luck just visiting another abandoned building. Seriously, no ghouls. getting rid of all those stim patches now. <sighs> you know what, I'll, uh, let's go to Seattle General and I'll heal Joshua up here. Then we'll find another building. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
thug chasing after a woman. All this damage I've taken. different abandoned building. There's to be some sort of law official chasing a suspect. What's going on here? The man has grabbed the woman and whirls around on you. Oh, well, start under cover. I've got her under control, so if you best leave, citizen. The officer hauls her away. I'm ahead of you is a man lying on the street. He appears to be hurt badly. The guy looks to you like he needs medical attention. I give him first aid. As you bend down to start first aid, the man's eyes flash red and you catch a glint of fangs. As he hisses at you with supernatural agility, he attacks. <sighs> Man, he got her good, all right. All right, I guess we're going back to Seattle General. I was just at. Let's see, there's those two buildings there. I think, it's, I think that's it. I think I was at the one on the left. Let's try the one on the right. Yeah, it was definitely the one on the left that I did before. All right, ghouls. Come at me, brah. What you doing? Huh? There we go. kill up to 20 of them. Then after I disband the party, I'll go find Stark. Come on. Sorry, but just the image of office chairs around a campfire just amuses me. Nope. Uh, come on. Alright. Uh, guys, yeah, do not leave me behind. Alright, I guess we gotta go to where they are. Come on. Winston? Okay, so 
thought I saw them up and around here somewhere. There they are. Clobbered Winston well. He really does a fine job at it. Really not a whole lot of money overall, huh? Yeah! Oh, fudge. Alright, starting over. Okay, doing this again. For real. We really need better armor. <sighs> All right, um. I guess one thing I can do, since I'm out right now and needed to restart anyway, I'll go and purchase some more med kits. Four of them. Four of them seem adequate. a lot of money. I hope I can recoup it. Okay, we should be fine. We'll just walk away from that. Three other men appear from the alley and help uh, drag the woman into the darkness. You become concerned and you hear some muffled screams. By the time you get to the alleyway, it is empty. Good on... Fantastic. Alright. Come on, ghouls. You got your number. all the electricity you could ever eat.
Now they're being shy, I guess. Come on. That's one, 19 to go. I'd like to test the spell to see how well it works, but uh, it's not nearly enough. I'll test this one though. Come on. Spawn some ghoulies. It just does not want to cooperate. This game is just violently opposed to allowing you to succeed. One. You're more than willing to overwhelm us with four Wendigos before. Now you just shuffle one ghoul at us. Makes four, I guess. Well, we've got most, I guess. Go on. Darn it! Target the one that's directly next to you, not the one in the other room. Well, whatever. I'll take it. Winston, you are a beast. And after this, 
We'll do some upgrades. How well a team would work if I had three mages. Would not be able to access the matrix. Although they could have training electron. Oh, it's possible. There's a lot in the game they wouldn't be able to access by default, however. A lot of important things. Still going strong. I could use a bunch more ghouls, though. Ask and you shall receive. So, let me see what my 60, pe uh, 60 million each. So, 20 altogether, it ruled about 1,200 million. Uh, so, I think another group or two ought to do it. Oh, goodness. Okay, come on. Now you got another group of uh, meat eaters around here somewhere. Was it left for dead to where if you uh, didn't have zombies around for too long, they just spawn, spawn a horde wherever? Is going to be near the exit. <sighs> Come on. Come on. 
spawn me some ghouls. A vampire. I wonder if that still counts. I think we got enough. Except you! You look like a ghoul! Now we go to Mortimer Reed. Collect my monies. before I even do that. Speed plus combat and cyber combat success. Let's see, three. Ten points, huh? Well. Two first, especially her. See, she has no sorcery, but she has an SMG gun. Eight and four is thirteen. That would be perfect. Well, almost, I guess. As for you, uh, sure. Well, oh, getting better with shotguns is always a good choice. As for me. This one does literally nothing for me. Increasing my body would be a good choice, to say the least. 
five, three, and two. Yeah, I can see that. Five, two, and three. And there we have it. Looks like I owe you some creds. Mortimer makes the transactions and gets back to business. All right, talk to you later. Twenty-six. Well, I barely made bank, I guess. Uh, Kayla Brightmore is still someone I need to talk to. Aragorn is last reported in Seattle. I guess I'll have to go and ask around about that. Local around town and making a, an incorporation for a local Johnson's has not been seen since. Renriku has been harassing Boris. Right. Well, I guess we'll go talk to Stark. Underground 93, huh? This is a wonder. Really quiet bar averages about one fight every three hours. This is where the dwarf guy is. Let's talk to him for a moment, though. The tired dwarf with the data jack in his head looks up. What do you want? Ah, I am looking for some information. I've been around, seen many things. Uh, want some questions answered. Like what? Uh, okay, I guess he doesn't have anything about, uh... Alright, I guess Joshua pays attention, but doesn't say or do anything. Anyway, whatever. Get out of here. This is Mr. Johnson is obviously well-to-do. He is dressed to kill in a custom-tailored suit. The jewelry on his wrist appears to be worth more than you'll ever have. His personal bodyguard looks like something from a bad dream. Let me introduce myself. I am Vigor, my friend here. You can call Joe. My employer is funding me to see how lucrative this Mr. Johnson thing can be. With his generous financial support, my percentages tend to be better than most. I take a real interest in making sure that the deals are well financed. It's better for business to, uh, in the long run. So are you interested in a little action? I am looking for some information. Sure, anything to help a pal. We are pals, are we not? Uh, if you want me to hook you up with uh, some of my other pals, it'll cost you 750 million. Special rate, just for you. Look for some contacts? I have a fixer I use when I need uh, to do something uh, nefarious. He gets you the items you need, no questions asked. Would you like his name? Yes, indeed. The name is deducted from your credit stick. His name is Max. I place this number in your pocket secretary. All right, talk to you later. Come back again when you need my services. Max, huh? Tell corporate badges. Uh, some nice weapons. Four maglock, number five maglock. Quite good indeed. I already have all the discounts, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until I can get 110,000 uh, to talk to him. Alright. To the Underground 93, I suppose.
Underground 93 is known as the wildest bar in the sprawl. Troll Bouncer screens the clientele and tosses anyone who gives him lip. I would like to go in. You want in? I don't know you. Give me 100 creds and then you get in. You want to pay? Fine. Step inside. Shut him out. The old man flashes his guns at you. His foul breath in the air. Fr uh, his foul breath is air freshener compared to the stench of his withered body. You decide to find a booth on the far side of the room. Stark is here, sharpening his cyber razors. Ashua, any news of Michael's murderers? I'm looking for some information. Uh, however, I can help. I will. Uh, so, what's your story? I was raised in the Amerindian lands, and I have spent many years as a tribal warrior. I love my Amerindian heritage, and will allow nothing to mar it. When I heard strangers were entering the land for some unknown purpose, I went to the city to dig up some clues. I was there, and I met your brother. We became fast friends, and in the end, he was a blood brother. Alright. So, any other questions? I know, I know very little. Tell me about Michael's last shadow run. We were looking for an old elven tomb. Inside, we hoped to find a map, or at least part of a map. Michael knew why it was important, uh, but he would not share the reason with us. Okay, I'm looking for a good runner. Care to sign in? It'd be an honor to join you in avenging Michael's death. Smart goggles. HK, holy moly. I'd say you're pretty well equipped. Frag grenade? Uh, I guess money I can sell. It's been cybered up pretty good. Uh, six ranks in all types of firearms. Uh, good melee combat skills. A high reputation. Uh, decent biotech. Uh, useless throwing ability. No essence left. Uh, let's look at your cyberware. Cyberware is yes. He has all of it. Well, he certainly knows how to kill things, that's for sure. Welcome aboard. Let's trade these to me. Let's go sell these stupid frag grenades. Alright, I now have a new best friend. It is unfortunately not any kind of Decker. Can't even jack into the Matrix. Let me look at his cyberware again. Uh, two wired reflexes. That's good enough for me. That's the kind of thing we could have given Winston Mars, and he would have been a beast. But uh, Stark is a beast in his own right. Line to duster, huh? Well, armor jacket is about the best we're going to be able to do. Seven grand. Yeah, that is quite a difference. All right, whatever. I guess we're stuck with our current choices. Really don't want to spend the money on all that just yet. We're gonna go to Redmond to buy clips. Echo uses the same sprite as me, but it's slightly differently colored. It's a symbol, you see, that we're all the same on the inside. Uh, hold on a moment. I don't 
really is the same price for all of them, huh? Fine. Okay, he should be swimming in ammunition. <sighs> what does smart goggles even do? I think they replace the need for... This basically gives him a cyber link of kinds. Which is what I can take advantage of. So, I guess we'll ask around Seattle about Aragorn's brother. Maybe do a mission or two. I guess I'll start with Mortimer. I have you as a man lying on the street appears to be hurt badly. You notice a surprising lack of blood for somebody who appears to be in as much pain as this man. Uh, attack him. He'll figure reacts with amazing speed, leaping up to a second story window and into a building. Okay. Company man storms up to. Hey, you can't get away with this! Don't think I don't recognize you! I talk to him. Wait, you, you're Mr. Johnson, are you? Very sorry to have bothered you. The confused man scurries off. Move into the booth. Bodyguards search for hidden weapons on your body. When they are satisfied, a voice speaks from the shadows. Well, what do we have here? A shadow runner looking for work? I'm Lord Murray. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the spiel. Looking for some information. I hate to give anything away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need some questions answered. Do you know anyone by the name Mako Sacho? Sir, Mako is a Renriku man. Used to be a project manager. I hear he's been in the doghouse lately, something to do with the project getting followed up. Area's been running up quite the tab at Club Penumbra since. Interesting. I've got another question for you. I could get on with this unprofitable business of free information. I'm a busy man. Ever heard of Aragorn? <laughs> oh, that, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Let's see. Uh, last I heard, he fragged a solo run against Mitsuhama. The corpse suits think he knows something, so they're holding him pending interrogation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's talk about a different subject. Mitsuhama, huh? Okay. It's uh... caught by Mitsuhama in a failed shadow run inside the corporation. But which one? I guess I'll have to find out. Which I'll do next time. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I already kind of ran this over a little bit. So we'll just save it right here, and we'll see you, and we'll see everyone next time. Take care, and good.